What's up guys, welcome to part two of my game monetization series. In this video, I'm going to be sharing all those juicy numbers as well as that game data that you guys all love. And let's see if we're on the right track for a profitable mobile game. So let's jump into my computer and check it out. So here we are in my skills dashboard. And one of the things I do like about using skills is that they do make the uh, dashboard very user friendly. So it's easy to uh, read the data and uh, see what how your game is performing. Um, over here also, when your game is, is before uh, prize enablement, that means before they switch cash tournaments on, it gives you a list of benchmarks which you need to hit um, in order for them to evaluate your game and decide if they're going to turn cash tournaments on. So you can see here, the first one is that we need 100 daily active users, means 100 uh, people playing your game per day. Uh, you can see we have that checked off. Then you need at least eight games per daily average user. So eight people, I mean, eight games played per day by per person. And then we need a day seven retention rate of 8%. Again, it's checked. It needs to be fair. That means um, it needs to be skill-based. And the last one needs uh, is 90% installs to one Z. So 90% of people who install your game need to play their first tournament. Okay, so as you can see, we're pretty much well on our way to getting our game cache enabled. Uh, let's look at the other numbers. Here we have our daily active users, which is 292. And we have games per day. Uh, daily average user is 10.3. And day seven retention, 10.47 installs to 1z this is the only one that could be a little bit higher um, although i'm pretty sure we're going to hit it in the next couple days anyway and then if we go to daily installs and the way i initially got uh, traffic into this game was all through aso and email marketing and for those of you know who follow this channel, I'm a big advocate of collecting players' emails because it's way, it's hard to keep a player and um, you wanna have their data on hand when you make improvements to the game and increase that retention. You wanna have a way of contacting them and then you can funnel them back into your game and hope they stick around longer. So initially my launch strategy is I will send out an email uh, to all to my player base, um, telling them that a new game is on the way. And once it's live, I'll send up another email where they can download it straight from the email. That drives a few hundred installs uh, directly into the game, which gives the ASO a big boost in the beginning. So here we're doing pretty decently. We're getting about 100 installs per day. Uh, the last day has dropped off a bit, but it should climb back up. So yeah, the, the part of the series, also the point of it is that I'm doing all of this, I'm monetizing it without spending anything on marketing, just purely through uh, organic traffic. Another thing I have done to increase traffic uh, for the game is to apply for skills accelerate program. I have done a video on this before. So basically, you can apply to have uh, skills feature your game on their home page under new games. And from my uh, previous experience of having one of my games featured, it, it drives an extra 50 to 100 installs per day, which uh, can really uh, benefit your ASO because like we know that one of the ranking factors uh, for keywords is that um, your game needs to be getting some decent traffic. So that's coupled with the um, extra ratings and reviews. It definitely does give you um, a good foothold on, on your ASO. And uh, yeah, more, better rankings equals more traffic, more traffic equals more revenue. So yeah, as you can see, we are on the right track. So I'm expecting in the next week or two to have this game cash enabled, and then I'll be able to share with you those initial uh, revenue numbers and see where we are. So there you have it guys, those are the initial numbers. Like I said, it's all uh, looking pretty decent at the moment, so we just have to wait until uh, cash tournaments are switched on, then I can update you guys with those initial revenue numbers. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you wanna uh, keep on this journey with me, and smash the like button if you enjoyed this type of content. I will see you on the next one, stay safe and
Peace out.